All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I believe in, in truth in music, so you're not going to hear me do a lot of rap songs, okay? I mean, I'm a little too Caucasian in my persuasion. But a while ago, I was in Long Beach, and I saw these two fellows in their 30s, and we were at a wine bar, and they were singing The Needle and the Damage Done, you know? And I'm thinking, these guys are from the tough streets of Cerritos and Lakewood. And uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking, Needle and the Damage Done, like, you know, counted cross-stitch? I'm not quite sure. So anyway, I, I wrote this song after seeing them with their authentic performance. I eat bologna and Velveeta and Wonder Bread. I'm reading Catcher and the Rye and the Fountainhead. I'm driving my Prius down to the mall. I'll text you later, baby, gotta take this call. This miracle whip fanatic doesn't have a clue that I'm too white to sing the blues. <laughs> I listen to David Sedaris on NPR. I go to open mics, play a lousy guitar. I buy polos and sweaters and chinos and loafers from L.L. Bean. It's Abercrombie and Fitch's 420 Hollister Wet Dream. I'm a slave of fashion, Madison Avenue. I'm too white to sing the blues. But I'm not too gay. <laughs> Just gay enough. Now, in fairness to myself, ladies and gentlemen, I have studied all the great African American blues players. Eric Clapton. <laughs> Van Morrison, J.J. <laughs> Kale, Bessie Smith ain't got nothing on me. I'm a fair trade latte loving venti devotee, an internet blog and fittering Facebook wife by junkie. I'm downloading the onion on my iPhone. I need a global positioning satellite just to find my way home. Yet the only soul I got is on. Bottom of my shoes. I'm too white, way too uptight to ever see the light that I haven't the right to ever sing the blues. Thank you. Well, maybe I'm not that white. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs>